Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for May 20th through the 26th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Leo for the week ahead, the 20th through the 26th? What do we have for Leo? Good news, something good. This is good news. This is a message, an invitation, something that is exciting. There's an exciting new opportunity here. Could be with somebody that's a little bit younger than you. I don't know, but this is an exciting new adventure, an exciting new path opening up, a new suitor perhaps. You know, this is something good. Could be receiving a message, whatever it is. It's very emotionally fulfilling, okay? This is an offer of love. This is the hand of God offering you something. It's it's love, okay? It is. Could be a new love. Could be a reconciliation. I don't know. God, this is unbelievable so far. We should stop right here because this is a big, huge, golden opportunity brought to you straight from God himself or whoever you honor. Your higher power. This is this is the opportunity of a lifetime. It's something solid. It's something stable. It's something long term. It's something you can bank on. It's something you can touch. It's something emotional fulfilling. It's something that is going to make you very happy. It's something exciting. It's something passionate. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You could be in getting invited to go somewhere. Or you get, you know, I don't know what this is. This is an invitation or a message. It's very positive. Very positive. Oh, my goodness. Now, I don't know. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is somebody that is very stable, solid, secure, same, same as, I mean, different, but this is somebody who is very practical. If this is you taking on this energy, you need to be practical. If you are the male watching this, you may be coming into contact with this earth sign or this air, uh, I can't talk tonight for nothing, fire sign who really has a lot to offer you, put it that way. I mean, this person... I mean, she can, this person can create anything. This is a creator. This is a nurturer. This is a, somebody that is very disciplined and devoted. This is a mother. This is a, this is a caregiver. This is somebody who does whatever it takes to get the job done. So, um, hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Yikes! See if we can switch this up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so something has stolen your energy, okay? Energy thief, your energy. You could have been dealing with somebody who uh, has made some poor decisions, you know, and they're bringing you down with them. I don't know. This could be you that has lost your focus. Somebody here has lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. They've they're, they're not moving forward. They keep getting distracted. Somebody keeps getting distracted. It's like they keep giving their power away to somebody. Um, somebody is needing to remove an obstacle. You know, there's an obstacle in the way. And, and I feel like somebody's been being dishonest with themselves about a connection. There's probably a choice between two people. And you have to make a choice between two people. You know, and somebody is definitely not telling the truth, okay? Somebody's not telling the truth. They're, they're just not aware. They're not seeing a situation clearly. Um, now, the page of pentacles reversed. This is, this is my player card. It can also signify a dead end. Now, this right here is somebody who is self-loathing, self-pity, Lost their ambition, lost their drive. And I know you guys don't want to hear that, but that's the meaning of the card in reversed. And but the, but the thing is, is I think that you're probably dealing with a person who has stolen your energy. They have brought you down. They've brought you down. Okay? And now you have this new exciting opportunity to 
<laughs> I think it's work with somebody else, work with somebody that's more practical, somebody that's more stable, somebody that's more solid, somebody that is emotionally available to you. I think that you've been dealing with somebody who wasn't. And they stole your energy. People do that. They seriously do. This is an energy thief, an untrustworthy individual who steals, goes around stealing people's energy because they, they're psychic vampires or whatever you want to call it. They're just not nice people. They vibrate on a low level. And so they got to steal other people's energy just because that's what they do. Anyhow, we got somebody here who has stolen your energy to the point where you've got to this point where... You know, it's like you, you, you may feel ill. You may feel ill. You may feel sick to your stomach. You may feel like you can't get out of bed. You can't do anything. It's like this period of, I can't focus. I can't focus because you're not happy because your your soul isn't growing the way that it should. But this tells me that you have an opportunity right now because this, this, this position is your present position right here. Presently. You're receiving an opportunity from above. It's a new one. This is a new opportunity for something emotionally fulfilling, stable, solid, and secure. But I think that you're fearful. You're fearful of getting in a, a, in a partnership where there won't be reciprocation, right? I think you're fearful of maybe you have to cut somebody out of your life. This is, this is right now your hopes and fears. I think you're fearful of getting trapped, you know, or maybe you are trapped. Maybe you're trapped in a situation in which you need to make some sort of cups, cup, cut. Can't talk tonight. I apologize. You have to make some sort of cut. You have to cut somebody out, perhaps. You have to cut somebody out of your energy field so that you can accept this beautiful offer right here because you've got something beautiful, solid, stable, long-term, something that you could keep. This is something that is really... <laughs> Whoever this person is, this person has something solid to offer you. It's it's something that you can build off of, put it that way. It's only going to get better. This person will work and do devote their time and energy to it to the point where this person doesn't give up. Very loyal loyal but there's fear fear maybe maybe you need to be practical Leo maybe you need to be practical maybe you need to be responsible maybe you need to be disciplined maybe you need to, to devote yourself to your own journey maybe you need to believe in yourself she's she represents the Hierophant she does she believes maybe you need to have faith in yourself this is a card of self worth. She she represents the Empress as well. You know you you, you have to you ha, you you got to know what you're worth. Sever ties. Somebody needs to sever ties with somebody that is stealing their energy. That's all there is to it. Could be a previous partnership that is still in your energy field. <laughs> Leo, somebody is stealing your energy. They're bringing. They're, I'm not kidding you. I'm not. The sun card reverse. This is lack of vitality. I mean, and this one is too. It's like they're stealing your energy. You you got an energy thief here. That the ties need to be severed. It's like you're involved in a lose lose situation. You got to protect yourself. You might have to walk away. Oh, there's that hair of font that I was just talking about. Now, this is somebody that doesn't have faith, doesn't believe, isn't listening. Not listening. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I don't believe you. I don't hear you. I'm not listening. I don't want to hear it. It's funny that I mentioned to you a minute ago, I know some of you guys don't want to hear it, and then I put this card right here. You don't want to hear it? Life is not always peaches and cream. It's time to move to a better place. It's time to move to a better place.
It's a time to transition. Take action right now. Don't think about it. Just do it. Whoever this person is that is in your energy field, that is stealing your energy, you need to remove yourself from the situation. Because you have a very emotionally fulfilling, abundant opportunity waiting for you to grab it. Grab it. This is an exciting opportunity with somebody that is very well suited for you. But you have to take action. Stop thinking about it. Just you, follow your gut and move on to whatever it is that you need to move on to. Some of you... There's the need to refocus. You need to refocus. You need to refocus. <laughs> I mean, that's what this is. I mean, I'm sorry. You're, 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 you're working with somebody that you're not on the same page with. You don't see eye to eye with this person. There's no teamwork. There's no togetherness. There's no collaboration. It's unhealthy. And it's time to move to that better place. You got a better opportunity. That's all there is to it. Time to let go of those past hurts. It is... It's a time of recovery. It's go up, follow your heart, go after the love. So I think that you guys are going to be receiving some sort of message or some sort of invitation to go someplace else, to go to a better place that will bring you something more stable, will bring you something more emotionally fulfilling. It could help you to heal. It's more practical. You've been dealing with a person that's not emotionally available, and I don't think that's fair. Somebody that's cold and withdrawn. And it's time to pick your battles. It's time to turn your back on unhealthy situations and accept this, whatever it is. This is a huge opportunity. This is a gift. It's a gift. Somebody may be giving you a gift to move. You know, they might be giving you the money if you're looking for money to move or you're looking for something to break free. You could be receiving help. Somebody's been holding on to a false sense of security. It could be at home. You know, they've been holding on. They may have been staying because of the home. It's a false sense of security. It's not stable. It's not solid. This structure isn't built well. This, it's about to crumble. They've been biding their time, but it's not stable. It's toxic. It is toxic. It's unhealthy. You'd be better off on your own. You deserve love. You have a big heart. You're generous. You deserve love. You're better off on your own. Some of you, if you are single, you probably won't be single for long. Okay? Because this is, this is happy, healthy, ready. When you're happy, healthy, and ready, that's when love comes in. So, Leo, I feel as though some of you are in a toxic environment and you're about to... It's like the universe is coming to shake this up for you. You may become single and broken free from this toxic bond. Male or female. It's almost like somebody is making a choice, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. They're making it. Somebody is making a choice to move to a better place. They're moving. Somebody, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. And it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to help everybody involved, put it that way. When this one person moves, everybody else's life is going to change for the better. things will start looking up they will so i feel this is this is relocate okay because he the, got the shovel gonna dig it up and go relocate someplace else 
So somebody is probably going to be relocating, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. They're going to be re somebody is relocating to a better place where there's more stability, there's more security, there's more emotionally fulfill more emotional fulfillment. You may not get, excuse me, the closure that you were looking for, but a lesson will have been learned from this whole thing. So, Leo, I feel like there is some sort of emotional fulfillment coming in. And in the end, it's going to make you happy. It is. It's going to bring you abundance in some way. It's going to help you to enjoy life in a better way. Trust me. You're receiving an opportunity or a gift from above that is going to change your life. This is change. I'm serious. you got a major change coming. And it's because you've been in an unhealthy situation. Universe, unhealthy, unhealthy. And the universe is like, no. Mm -mm. This ain't it. So you probably have an opportunity with somebody that is a little bit younger than you that is very, very, very well suited for you. You may even know this person. Could be a reconciliation. But this is moving to that better place, taking your power back. Somebody's lost their focus and their concentration for too long. Could have been the other person. You could have been dealing with this Debbie Downer who just steals your energy to the point where you feel like you can't do anything because they're so toxic, you know, they're so demanding, they're so, it's almost like abusive. But I see you guys basically finding your ability to follow your heart. Relocate. This is relocate. I'm going to invest my time and energy someplace else where there will be growth. So be prepared, Leo. I see, I see change. I see change here. I see major change. Okay? Um, you're going to receive something that is going to help you. could be a gift of money could be it could be something whatever it is it's secure it's solid it's stable and it's emotionally fulfilling it's love somebody loves you somebody loves you and they're going to be extending something to you that is going to make you happy put it that way could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have them all. But somebody has been in a toxic situation that is definitely unhealthy. And it's like the universe says, no, 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 no. You're worth more than that. Time to let this go. Start over. I don't know. That's what I got. Good luck. So be prepared. This is a message. This is good news coming in, whatever it is. The very first card from somebody that is that has your back, somebody that is well suited for you, somebody that you have a lot in common with. It's positive. It really is. This person is going to help you to get out of a bad habit or a toxic situation. Good luck.